The Cape Rodney to Okakari Point, or Goat Island Marine Reserve, was New Zealand's first marine reserve established here at Lee, north of Auckland, in 1975. Passionate marine photojournalists Tony and Jenny Enderby are going to shed some light on why this is such a remarkable asset to New Zealand's coastline. <laughs> There's a couple of kinna or sea urchins, and these ones have been killed a few days ago. Anybody got an idea what might have killed those? Crayfish? It's, yeah, it's a crayfish. Taking children to the water for the first time, and you, you start the day with, it, with a child that, that's really nervous, and you get them in a wetsuit so they've got some flotation, and they get out and they suddenly see a fish and they're still a little bit nervous but by the time they're finished they're coming out and you know and all they want to do is go home get mum and dad and come back the following weekend. What's really good is the fact that people can just come here and go straight off the beach there's they can stand on the rocks and see the fish they can it doesn't actually have to cost them anything other than the petrol to get here and they can come and enjoy the reserve. So we've got a little starfish down there, or sea star, and that one's known as a cushion star. He's fairly sort of almost like leather. We think that this was what, what it was all like, and it's quite neat that we've got a little piece that maybe two generations' time, they'll be able to come and see what two generations ago could actually see. And I think that's something really special. What these guys do when they eat something, whereas you swallow it and it goes down to your stomach, they actually send their stomach out. The stomach goes out and surrounds it and engulfs it and then they take it in that way. This girl went into the Tanifata cave to get some, um, some crayfish for her family and the Māori believe, people believe that there's a Tanifat in there that gobbled her up. They put like rocks on their top so they can camouflage and fish can't find them. Really? Yeah. What sorts of things eat can it? Snapper. Snapper do? Yeah, and crayfish. And sometimes people? Yeah. <laughs> the snail in there, it actually grows. It just keeps adding more and more to that and it keeps curling round and round. Now when it dies, anybody think what might use the shell? Hermit crab, yep. So they're one of the most common crabs that we get here, the black clawed crab. You've seen a tail on a crayfish? Yeah, yeah. And underneath on a female, they've got a little tail underneath there. And it's just like a tail on a crayfish. Yeah, yeah. They carry all the eggs. This one's a male, so he doesn't have that. Goat Island Marine Reserve is the ideal marine backyard and while it may not seem like much is happening here at the water's edge, around these rock pools and just under the surface is a fascinating underwater world. Moi 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 mo